Well, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, uh, David Frost, and I'm the uh, moderator for you uh, this afternoon. Uh, hopefully, you're in the session on embedding enterprise in further and higher education. Uh, if you're not, and I'm not, then well, clearly one of us is in the wrong room. Uh, what we're going to do today, we've got a very swift um, uh, hour, and uh, we're going to want to try and maximise that um, on uh, debate. Uh, we have three speakers who have got... Uh, considerable expertise in this uh, area and I'd like to really to call them up uh, one at a time um, onto the platform. First of all we've got Paul Hannan who's the Chief Executive of the National Centre for Entrepreneurship and Education. Paul. Then we've got um, Andrew Ferguson uh, who's the uh, Enterprise Manager at the University of York uh, and finally we've got Dick Palmer who's the Principal at City College uh, uh, Norwich. Okay well um, why is this agenda in, um, um, important? Why have I uh, become in, um, involved in this, uh, this field? Well, I think a common strand uh, and theme for the day, uh, which has really been there from first thing this morning, that the world uh, and the world of work uh, is changing fast and it's changing but relentlessly. Um, in the UK and across much of the globe, uh, we have to get growth uh, moving. We now operate in an increasingly knowledge-based economy where skills that are provided by the FE and the HE sector will be central to getting this economy and I think other economies across the globe uh, competing uh, in this new and fast-changing globalised world. And I think the other thing is that there has been huge structural change in the economy um, and this continues apace and there are both winners um, and, uh, and losers. I think one of the most uh, disarming statistics uh, that I've seen uh, recently uh, was that in the period from 97 uh, to 2007, uh, the supposed boom decade, um, Birmingham, a supposed economic powerhouse uh, in this country, um, actually had a net loss of 55,000 private sector uh, jobs. But that was masked by the huge growth of the public sector in that decade, which created in the order of uh, 800,000 um, extra, extra jobs. But what we know now is that that public sector job creation has come to a juddering halt. That public sector uh, job, uh, those jobs which are often the, were being fed by um, um, FE and importantly um, HE. And now, of course, what we have to do is to reinvent many of those economies across, across certainly in the UK, across the country. Um, as I say, there are winners and losers, and quite frankly, from where I sit, uh, there are certain parts of the country that need to be almost reinvented. And to do that, we are going to need a complete new spirit of enterprise in parts of the, uh, parts of the UK. Uh, and that enterprise is increasingly going to be knowledge-based. We have a huge resource in both HE um, and FE, and the question to me is how we mobilize that resource essentially to kickstart growth in many parts of the UK. And that's the part that particularly interests me in this debate. So to get this discussion uh, moving uh, this afternoon, uh, our first speaker um, is going to be Paul Hannan. Each of the speakers is going to speak for no more than uh, 10 minutes, so I say we can maximise the uh, position for, de uh, for debate. So uh, Paul, who's going to give an overview, um, um, I think, of the field of entrepreneurship and education in the UK, then he will be backed up uh, with two real specifics from, the, uh, from uh, firstly, Andrew in the world of HE, and then Dick, of course, uh, from the world of, um, of FE. But to give, I think, uh, perhaps an overview, uh, it's over to you, Paul. 